Hello, my name is Jasmine Adams, and we are live with the online parody show, and we are discussing um, how you can become a VA and also clients, um, how you can um, get a VA, any questions that you may have. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Jasmine. Jasmine, how are you doing, my love? I'm doing good. How are you today? Fantastic. Now, Jasmine is the virtual assistant extraordinaire. If you've got stuff, work that she can help you with, Jasmine can assist. Did I say that right? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so obviously as business people, um, when things start happening within the business, you start expanding and the jobs and the needs that are um, needed within your company start expanding. That's when you venture out and you look out for people that can be able to assist. So there's people like Jasmine that can assist and you can outsource to them. So today we're just going to ask Jasmine, you know, what she expects of her clients and what she can provide, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Jasmine, tell us a little bit just about yourself before we get started. Um, absolutely. Uh, my name is Jasmine Adams. I uh, live uh, in Houston, Texas, and I have been doing VA work for about five to seven years. Um, but in the last couple of months to a year, I've really uh, dove into it to do it full time because I wanted to spend more time with my daughter and I have absolutely loved every minute of it. Um, I love what I do. I love helping uh, business owners so that they can spend their time and their focus on actually growing their business. I love that aspect of it. And I'm, I'm available. I'm pretty flexible. I'm available, you know, anytime that my clients need me, which is why, um, you know, they have me you know by their side so i don't give up on them and we work together to you know figure out everything um and to figure out exactly what they're needing because every client is different every client's needs are different so yeah great stuff okay so you did mention that every client is different and they might come in needing um you know different skills and services what are you what do you consider to be your core skills and your services um, that that you normally provide uh, your clients? I want to do a bunch of stuff. Um, I have a team. I have a couple of people that I work with. We do social media management. Um, we do project management. We do bookkeeping. And we do a lot of general administrative tasks that could, you know, range from calendar and scheduling management, uh, you know, to content writing. We do a bunch of different things. And if there is something... Um, that is not on that list, it's a good chance that one of our team members know how to do it or that I know how to do it. Because when I started, it was just me. And, you know, with, you know, me having my clients and us doing so great, I was able to expand my team. So I love my team. They're great. <laughs> great stuff. So obviously you handling your team and working remotely to support um, a business person's team, what sort of methods of communication do you prefer when somebody talks to you, especially from a business owner's point of view? Do you like them calling you or do you like them just emailing you and um, I prefer either. I'll, um, phone calls are fine. Um, Skype is pretty popular. Uh, Google um, Hangouts is fine. Um, we also use, um, there's a system called Slack. Um, I've used only Facebook Messenger a few times. I really don't prefer that. Um, but I would say Skype, emailing, definitely phone calls. And if there's a, a Google Hangouts, if there's another system that the client is more comfortable with, um, we'll definitely accommodate to that. Great stuff. Okay, so you're working with so many different people at the same time, um, and you probably would be receiving emails coming in uh, left, right, and center from your clients or from their own clients, etc. Let's say your inbox, inbox is flooded with messages. How do you prioritize which ones to respond to first? Oh, goodness. Um, it just kind of depends. Um, I look in there and I'll uh, kind of skim through because I have certain times of the day where I, I check my email because if not, I'll never get anything done. Um, so I'll go through and I'll see, you know, what it is that um, each client is needing and then I'll just kind of prior prior prioritize 
exercise. Um, off of that, it depends on if you know they're needing something done right away. It also depends on um, what it is that they're needing. If I'm going to be doing it, or if I have to outsource it out to a team member, it just kind of depends on a, a bunch of different things. Great stuff. Okay, so you as a VA, you deal with quite a lot of people. What's one thing that actually frustrates you about your, your work? Oh, good question. I would say um, the inconsistency, um, you know, work virtually, it's, it's not easy like people think it is. Just because working from home doesn't mean that it's an easy task. There are a lot of things that come with it, but I would say the inconsistency with clients. Um, you know, it's always good to have a mix of three to four clients um, to keep your business going in case one drops off you know, for any reason, and then you have to replace that client. And, and I'm always looking to grow. Um, I don't stop, but you just never know when that's coming. And it can actually take a hit. If you lose one or two at a time, it can, you know, actually take a hit on your business and you have to fill those, you know, slots again. So I would say the inconsistency, um, yeah, with, with clients. Right stuff. Okay. So, you know, with the world of the virtual, um, you know, arena, you can have, like I'm in Australia right now and you're in Texas. Um, would you ever take on international clients? Yes, actually. Actually, some of my subcontractors are international. Um, absolutely. I don't have any clients currently, any active ones that um, are international, but absolutely I would. We would accommodate the, the time, the the zone, the time zone, we will definitely accommodate that, um, you know, as needed. So that would be an issue. Great stuff. So would you, what sort of hours then do you work if, if you're going to be working with international clients? Do you still do well, that? Well, it depends on yeah. where they are. Um, I'm central time zone here in the, in the U S but you know, let's say if they were in India there, I believe they're like 12 hours ahead. So we would adjust our work schedules, you know, accordingly as needed. Right. Good stuff. So obviously just depending on your availability and stuff like that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Great stuff. Okay. So being, let's say somebody's watching this just man and they probably are inspired by your work and you know, it, it appear, appeals to them to want to be a VA of some sort. Is there any particular stuff or industry experience or expertise that they need to, um, you know, have in order for them to be as good as you are? Good question. I would say first, um, start with what you know how to do. Take a sheet of paper or, you know, type it up on the computer. Start with the, the task that you actually know you can do today before you look into any training or anything. And then once you get that list, you may have 10 or 15 things that you, you know, can offer before you even start training, you can actually get your business going. And meanwhile, while your business is going, um, if you would like some additional training to add to your skill set, I would definitely say go for it because that's how I started. Um, I have a, my bachelor's is in business and then I have my master's in business administration. So that's kind of why I started and I started small and I've just kind of, you know, grown, you know, as, as time has gone as time has gone on. So that's probably the best advice I would give. Most VAs that start, they're like, where do I start? How do I do this? But, you know, when you're put in a situation to have to do it, you're going to make it happen no matter what. So a lot of people, they don't know what they can bring to the table until they actually have to do it. So that would be my first piece of advice. And then I will also say to do your research. Um, I did a lot of research on Facebook and I was able to find a bunch of information and I was able to also connect with a bunch of people um, that have, you know, actually gotten me where I am today. You know, I have a couple of people that I look to as mentors and I go to them when I have questions and when I'm stuck on things because it happens. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. You know, and there's still things that I don't know how to do this day or that I struggle with, but I definitely will reach out and connect with other people to, you know, see how they handle the problem or if they've, you know, been through that situation before. Great stuff. Okay. It sounds like a really fun job and, you know, you, you get to be yourself most of the time, unlike being tied to a computer desk in somebody else's office and doing the same thing um, that, that you get to do. What is it that you enjoy most about being a VA? Um, there's a couple of things. Creativity level, I absolutely love it. Um, you can kind of make it your own. Um, when you, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, clients and all of their needs are different, you learn so many new things. So I would say the creativity, 
being able to learn just new things. It's a very, very fast-paced environment. You have to be able to pick up on things quickly. Um, if my computer went out today, I have, you know, two to three, you know, backup options that I would have to choose because we're virtual. So, I, you know, I have another laptop if I need to, you know, go work somewhere else, I need to go to a library. Um, I'll also say being able to spend more time with my family. I love it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything. Great stuff. So somebody might have been watching this and is now inspired to outsource. How can people get a hold of you there, Jasmine? Um, you can email me at jasminecanassist at gmail.com. Um, you can also find me on facebook.com uh, slash jasminecanassist. And also my Twitter and my Instagram is at jasmine, M as in Mary Adams. Great stuff. Okay, so one last thing. Um, somebody has been inspired and you just want to give them some sort of a warning and say, don't come to me if you cannot articulate <laughs> what you want me to do. <laughs> what sort of just one word have you got for people that just rock up and they don't know what to say or what they are expecting? Are you talking about um, potential clients or are you talking about like subcontractors? Oh, no, potential, your potential clients, if, if they don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll come to me and they're like, I need help, Jasmine, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. So, well, thank you so much. I know, obviously, you're going through um, quite a lot there in uh, Texas. I really appreciate you for sitting down with us today. And uh, hopefully, you know, things work out um, for everybody else there that you know and, you know, your family and, and everybody else. Your time today has been so valid. And um, hopefully, we will also help you get more work because there are a lot of people that are looking for virtual assistance but they just don't quite know how to get around it. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. Great stuff. <laughs> You've done this before, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> I know like to pause and stuff like that, so. <laughs> Great stuff, okay. Well, yeah, this is it. That's it. I think we'll, we have a good 15 minutes on them. Videos don't have to be long, you know, these days on the internet. Because nobody has got yeah, time that. for you that. on me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought, okay. Let me, let me pause together. Um.